Court proceedings scheduled for this morning for 34-year-old Joshua Boyle. He's charged with more than a dozen crimes. By court order, no one is allowed to reveal the name of any alleged victim. But overnight, we did receive an email from his wife, Caitlin, saying she and her children are in good health and safe. Saying that they will take this morning, stunning new criminal charges against Joshua Boyle, the Canadian man held hostage for five years in Afghanistan and Pakistan by the Taliban. So we ask that you are merciful to Boyle, along with his American wife, Caitlin, and their three young children born in captivity, were freed in a dramatic raid by Pakistani forces in October. When they returned to Canada, Boyle said they planned to start a new life. Obviously, it will be of incredible importance to my family that we are able to build a secure sanctuary for our three surviving children. But now, Boyle is being charged with 15 crimes. Canadian police alleging the incidents began the day after the family returned home. According to CTV and the Toronto Star, the charges include eight counts of assault, two counts of sexual assault, two counts of unlawful confinement, one count of uttering death threats, one count of causing someone to take an antidepressant, and one count of misleading police. In a statement to the Toronto Star, Caitlin said she can't speak about specific charges, but ultimately it is the strain and trauma he was forced to endure for so many years and the effects that that had on his mental state that is most culpable for this. Obviously, he is responsible for his own actions, but it is with compassion and forgiveness that I say I hope help and healing can be found for him. In an email to NBC, Joshua Boyle's lawyer writes, Mr. Boyle is presumed innocent. He's never been in trouble before. No evidence has been provided yet, which is typical at this early stage. We look forward to receiving the evidence and defending him against these charges. Days after their release, Joshua spoke about being free. Part of what got me through prison was the vain hope and belief that the day I'm released, everything is going to be sunshine and flowers, but it's an ordeal of its own that I'm not sure we were actually expecting. Again, those words were in October, and this morning, less than three months later, after out of being out of captivity, jo Joshua Boyle once again has lost his freedom. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we'll learn a little more later today. Yeah, incredibly perplexing. Kate, thank you very much.